Okay, for part A, we're asked to solve this equation. Solve 5p subtract 16 is 4. I'm going to use the balance method, okay? Firstly, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get p by itself, so I'm going to add 16 to both sides to remove this, uh, subtract 16. And I'd get that 5p is therefore equal to 20. And I want 1p, so I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to get 1p. p must be 4. Check your answer, 5 times 4 is 20, take away 16 is 4. Now you could get that by checking your workings as well. You could just, uh, sorry, guessing, you could guess numbers to see if it worked. Alternatively, you could use a flowchart method. How do you get 5p minus 16? You start off with p. The first thing you do to it is you times it by 5 and you get 5p. The next thing you do to it is you subtract 16 and you would get 5p subtract 16. You know that's equal to 4. So let's go backwards and undo what we've done here. We're going to add 16 uh, to undo the takeaway 16. You get 20. And to undo times 5, you're going to divide by 5. And again, you're going to get 4. So p is 4 again. Right, solve the following equation. Now, this is where the flowchart method here doesn't help you anymore. You really need to be familiar with balance method. Um, when you've got um, an unknown, a Q on both sides. So, the aim of the game is to, to find Q all by itself. Now there's a Q here and a Q here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the operation to subtract two Q from both sides. That will get rid of that two Q over there. And I will be left with the negative four that's there is equal to three Q plus five. Okay, it's a bit similar to what I've got up here now. Now, I'm going to try and get rid of the add 5. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides, okay, to do that. So, negative 4, subtract 5. Think about it. You're on the number line. You're over here at negative 4, and you subtract 5. You make it smaller by 5, so you get negative 9. It's going to be equal to 3q. And I want q all by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I'm going to get that q is negative 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So q is equal to negative 3. And I should check it up there. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 take away 4 is negative 10. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Add 5 is also negative 10. Okay, so <clears throat> the next part. y is equal to this thing here, find the value of y. Our only option is to expand the brackets here. y is going to be 3 times 2x, which is 6x, and 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. And then what, what we're going to do, we're going to have negative 2 times 10, which is negative 10, and negative 2 multiplied by positive 3x, which is negative 6x. By magic, as it were, the 6x subtract 6x is no x's, so they disappear, and you've got negative 3, take away another 10, and that's negative 13. And we're done there. y is negative 13, and we're finished.